Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Look at this unique looking bottle. Big bottle too. Uh, this is the variant from Shackley Tap Room. Uh, these guys are out of Missouri. Uh, I have done a bunch of Shackley beers. I think they're very, very tasty. Uh, I haven't bought a lot of Shackley beers lately because they're not available in the grocery store down here. For some reason. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. Uh, I have to run across town to see uh, uh, Martin and, and the guys out there at the Bell Chest to get some of their beers. And I've done most of their beers, except of their uh, Brewed Once beers and some of their specialty beers. Uh, and I don't get all across town enough to, to, to pick those up. And uh, I had uh, uh, one of my subscribers, Jose, contacted me and asked me if I had had it or seen it. And I said, no, I hadn't. And he was uh, generous enough to send me one. And guys, this looks like a very pricey beer. It's got a metal metal label on the front of it here. It says the variant uh, stout aged in port barrels with cocoa nibs. St. Louis Brewery. Alcohol is 9.4% by volume. And on the back it says... Same thing, please recycle, 9.4% Then the government warning. Uh, and the date code on this back label says 03-2017. So they give us the month and the year. And that's all, we don't need to date on a, this file. But the month that lets us know it was brewed, whether it was brewed first of the year, middle of the year, end of the year. So this one was done in March of 2017. So it's still pretty fresh. This is June. Of 2017 so it's been in the bottle three months and it's a barrel age version uh, of, of this very unique style bottle uh, looks like an expensive bottle so Jose uh, he sent a little note here it said here's the variant South I wanted you to review regards Jose and cheers from Missouri cheers to you Jose I do appreciate it sir uh, I have such wonderful subscribers that send me these awesome beers and very pricey beers a lot of times uh, uh, I feel so blessed. So, Jose, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate you spending your hard earned money on this and sending this to me so I can review it for the guys, uh, everybody out there. So, uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. Let me step over to Untapped, and they have 30 IBUs listed for this. So, uh, should be a very, very tasty beer. Final beer of the evening for me. So, uh, uh, we've read, uh, everything we need to read uh, we know what we're getting ready to get into it is a fairly big bottle enough to share which I intend to do uh, so let's get let's get into it let's see what we've got here and it has a uh, another little stick on wrapper on top the cap here and I was trying to peel it off without tearing it all to pieces but that may not happen very nice And it's got it right here on this little stick-on thing here. Shapley, IBX, IBEX. And the writing on the top says, Stout aged in port barrels with cocoa nibs. The variant. Very nice little sticker they put on the top. Cellophane sticker. It's very nice. 
They had somebody put one of these stickers on every one to come off the bottom line. And man, that adds a little cost to it. We probably could have done without that, but uh, they're probably pretty proud of this beer. That's why they do that. So let's get the top off of it here. Nice little hiss, a little bit of smoke, and into the glass we go. Very unique bottle. This label on the front is very impressive. Almost looks like a copper label and stuff on the beer here. So, here we go. Food Prairie says the cuisine is barbecue, and cheese with buttery brie, gouda, havarti, uh, Swiss, Camembert, Fontina. There's well few chocolate dishes. The meat is beef, shellfish, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. So, we did generate a little head on that aggressive pour. Last for a pint, Becker and I had come to mug Stein Seidel. And it says here, not recommended for extended sellers unless ABV extends average range. And I think 9.4% does extend average range. Uh, a little over a finger of head on that pour. Looks pitch black coming out of the bottle. And it's pitch black in the glass, guys. I don't see any light coming through it. Nice khaki colored head. Very creamy looking on top. Great looking beer. Looks pretty impressive. Let's get a nose to it. Rich, heavily roasted to the burnt characteristics on the malt. Bittersweet chocolate. I don't think there was any lactose used in this. I am getting the chocolate notes, maybe hints of molasses and brown sugar. It smells very, very nice. Not getting the pork barrel effect on the nose, but it's probably going to be in a taste, and it's probably going to be more evident once it warms up. Hmm. Smells delicious. Let's dive in. Now the head's down to about a half a finger. Great looking beer. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jose. Oh, that's nice and sweet. I am getting the pork barrels on the taste. That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm surprised it's as sweet as it is not having lactose used in it. Wow. That is delicious. That is a super well made beer. The alcohol is super well hidden. I am I'm blown away by how much sweetness I'm getting on this beer if they've not used lactose in the brewing process. And this is a brewed once a beer. They only did it one time. Oh, wow. Delicious. I can see why they went to the extra expense of putting this fancy label, this unique bottle, bottle size, and putting this little cellophane sticker on the, uh, on the top of the bottle. It's not paper. This this is a cellophane label that they've stuck on there. Uh, very, very nice. Very impressive beer. I'm sure this was not a cheap beer for uh, Jose to buy. So, once again, Jose, I thank you, my friend, my brother, for uh, spending your hard earned money on us and send me one of these to, to review for you guys. Uh, very tasty. And this is right out of the fridge, so I know it's just going to get better as it warms up. So... Let me pour her a glass and sip on this for a little, a little bit and see what we end up with. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Been sipping on about 30 minutes or so. This is an awesome beer. Outstanding aroma. Roasted malt, almost to the burnt characteristic. Cocoa, bittersweet chocolate, molasses, brown sugar. Wonderful aroma. A little bit of woodiness from the pork barrels. Delicious. This is a delicious beer. Nice and sweet. Hints of some dark fruit in there, maybe some plums or, or raisins or dates. Excellent beer. Very well made beer. Awesome beer. Donald Chuck.
delicious. That's a great beer to share with some friends and family. The other half, anybody. The other half loved it. She thought it was excellent. I do too. Guys, uh, this is definitely an A beer, no doubt about it. I would like to have gotten a little bit more from the pork barrels that I was getting. I honestly think they could have done better by putting it in a bourbon barrel to get some bourbon notes and stuff from the beer. Uh, the pork barrels are a little lacking. Uh, that's the only fuss I've got about this beer. Uh, I wasn't getting enough of the barrel aging aspect of it. But it is a very, very tasty beer. The alcohol is so well hidden, super sweet. Uh, awesome. It's awesome beer, guys. Uh, 9 out of 10 for me on this. Uh, I'm going to give this a 99. 99 out of 100. It is awesome. You say, oh my God, you're crazy. It's 100. I would not argue with that. It is it is a superbly well-made beer. It is very, very tasty. All right, guys. Uh, and I'm probably going to go against the grade on this one. I, I'm very impressed with this. I just wish I just wish they'd put it in a bourbon brow instead of a port brow to get a little bit more uh, of the bourbon notes uh, or the barrel aging notes than what I'm getting from this. That is the only, that's the only reason it's not getting a 10 for me. But it is... It's getting pretty damn close, 99 out of 100. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 88. Ah. Other than, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be rude. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's much better than an 88. It's 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 at least 10 points better than an 88, guys. And over to Untap for our final check-in. They got 4.31. That's in their solid A group. Uh, I think it's a little bit better than a solid A. That's why I put it almost to the 10 category. Uh, very delicious. I would like to, like I said, uh, seen them put it in a bourbon barrel instead of a port barrel to get a little bit more bourbon notes. If it had that, my God, that would be awesome. It would be a 10 beer to me if, it, if they'd done that. But it, as it is, it's pretty damn tasty. It's pretty damn tasty. So, uh, if you've had this from uh, uh, Shapley, uh uh, beer company, or they call themselves, um, it's the St. Louis Brewery is what they're calling themselves now, but uh, it's a very tasty beer, guys, and I'm sure looking at this bottle with that fancy label on it and this uh, stick-on top they put on every bottle that's come off the line, this is not a cheap bottle to buy. Another great bottle to sell her or share with uh, on a special occasion with some friends or family to pour everybody a little bit in the glass that have tasted. I'm sure they'll all be blown away. It's very, very tasty beer, guys. So, If you've had just the variant from Shackley or the St. Louis Beer Company, let me know what you think. Damn awesome beer, guys. Come back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.